Turning your hobby into a career sounds like a dream. Over the next week, six freedivers are going to give it their all to pass their freediving instructor course. There will be ups and downs, excuse the pun, but if they want to teach freediving, they'll have to get through their instructor trainer, Adam Stern. Welcome to The Deeper You Go, The Better It Gets. It's the day before the course and the instructor candidates have begun to arrive. Hey, is anyone here? Hi, I'm Mitch. Uh, I'm one of the instructor candidates from Sydney, kind of based out in the east suburbs, here with a few of the other Sydney guys and girls, so I think it's going to get a little bit awkward later in the week. Anyone here? Hey, what's up? Hey, man, how you going? I'm Mick. Mitch. Oh, nice to meet you, mate. Likewise. I'm Mick uh, from the south coast, down sort of Ulladulla, Bully Point, Batemans Bay area. Um, planning to be a free dive instructor and hopefully teach people to be more relaxed in the water. Can you, can you smell something? No? Hey, I'm Lara. I'm Dylan. And where from? We're going to free dive. Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome to Jervis Bay. What's the smell? Oh, who's this guy? Oh, hello, I'm Nick. Um, I'm just here to get it done. Hey guys! It's Bella! I brought everything from Sydney! Oh, hey Arthur, it's you! I'm Bella. I am a wannabe freediving instructor based in Sydney. Um, I'll be teaching out of my school, Immersia Freediving, hoping to make freediving accessible to um, anybody, any shape, any age, getting lots of people into the ocean. Hello everyone. Hello everyone, I'm Lane, I'm from Sydney and I'm already a master instructor right now. Um, I'm the assistant of Adam Stern in this instructor course. Uh, let me help you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you sure? Yeah, you sure? Okay, alright, right. they're very right. expensive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lara. Hi, I'm Lara. Hi, I'm so this is the house where all the instructor candidates are going to be staying for the week. Just excited to get in there, meet all the guys. I know most of them, some of them I don't. What I do know is that they are all solid divers. They're all going to make rock solid instructors. So let's go and uh, start the instructor course. Hey everyone, how you doing? Hey! Guys, super excited for the week we have together now. Look, you're all amazing divers. By the end of this week, you're going to be amazing instructors. So um, if you have any questions, if you need a shoulder cry on, I'm here. Um, basically, I'm going to go now, but uh, I'll see you all at the boat bright and early tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Don't be late. Woo! Bye, Adam. I had to get out straight away, you know. Sometimes people can get a little bit too much at them, and uh, it's not good for them before the course begins. Keep it hang around. The sun is shining for the first day of the course and everyone is excited. Super excited for the first day of the course. This is when it all begins. But before their first dive, Adam has a quick announcement. All right guys, so like, I know that we're all friends, all right? I know that we all hang out together, we all dive together, but on this course, I'd like you all to refer to me as Sealaw. I won't be responding to Adam. If you're in trouble and you call Adam, you'll get nothing from me. It's Sea Lord or nothing. Just so that's clear, let's go dive. I think you said the Sea Lord? Sea Lord. I'm so not calling him Sea Lord. I see no reason why not to call me Sea Lord. I mean, if a person dives to 100 meters, surely that makes them Lord of the Sea, right? If he wants us to call him Sea Lord, we have to call him Sea Lord. The first dive gets off to a great start, with some of the candidates achieving their depth requirement right away. Everyone is just diving so well, I'm so proud, I'm so happy, they're going to make amazing instructors. I think he will do a great job in, in free diving instruction. Um, Lynn, you and not actually on the instructor course, you and Bella's boyfriend. Really? Yeah. So, Bella must be watch out. Hi, my name's Ewan, I'm Bella's boyfriend. Um, I'm also the director, writer, producer, and um, primary star of six months, um, the bodyboarding film. You've probably seen it. 
I've now um, become a world-class cinematographer and so I'm actually here in charge of the filming of this, uh, my next project, the reality TV show that, that we're here for today. The deeper you go, the better it gets. The group has not been living together long, but some teething issues have already arisen. Uh, is anyone going to town like that? Uh, which I think you wanted to buy the other. Oh, I've, I've read it. Uh, I never said that. Before. He just doesn't understand. I don't know, like, we're all pretty good friends, but I don't feel like I can be the one to let him know he stinks. He smells worse than a stinky tofu. The group is in high spirits as they begin to get ready for their second day of the course. Today we're going out for a deep dive, uh, basically getting the guys slowly working down to reaching that 40 metre depth requirement. For me it's pretty essential they hit it as early as possible so they have time and energy to do everything else. So uh, the guys are uh, the guys just getting in the water, set the boys up. I always make the point of not uh, helping them with any of that. Uh, it, it really, um, it really conditions them to what it's going to be like as an instructor. Mm. While some members of the group are in the water, others just can't shake their nerves. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty nervous. Um, there's going to be a few eyes on me and it just feels a bit like, you know, now or never. Hey Mick, just heads up, there's some debris coming in. Debris? Yeah. Hey guys, that's cool. What? Oh, that's cool. Everybody out of the water now! <laughs> out of the water! You never think these things are going to happen to you and then next thing you know your friends and peers are swimming in your How did we get pink eye? It was on my hands. I was in the water. Let's This is not the first time or the last time that we will all be swimming in poo. Let it be known. The floating poo event unfortunately cut the dive session short. Hey Mitch, is that my line yet? No, this is mine, Just mine. No, Lynn, I think this is mine. No, 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 it's mine. Lynn, I'm pretty sure you're gonna give it to me. Lynn. She's cute. She's nice. She's super sweet to everyone. She's like, it was my layer. There's no name tag on it, right? It was not the day that everybody was expecting, but everyone was keen to get back to depth tomorrow. Unfortunately for them, the weather turned the very next day. Say that. <laughs> I was that nervous, I felt like pooing in the water like Bella. Look, they're going to be nervous, you know? This is the most important event in their entire life. Of course they're going to be nervous, but it's how a person handles those nerves that makes them a free life instructor. <laughs> the wind, the waves, it all seemed to get the best of our instructor candidates. Yeah, I've been struggling with my equalisation, so I'm not sure how I'm going to get to 40. Yeah, me too. I'm really struggling. So. I'm just struggling on every dive, like, I'm just constantly feeling pressure. I've done a few courses with Adam now, I mean, the Sea Lord now. Normally it's really relaxing, but this time, he just won't leave me alone. They are the worst candidates I've ever seen. I have a serious job ahead of me. Not even God himself could whip these divers into shape if he had seven days. Was it the cold weather? Were they just tired? Or was Arthur sabotaging the group? If it weren't for Arthur, I would have passed everything by now. He kept like tangling up my, my landing and everything. He just ruined the day. I know it was Arthur. It was Arthur. I know it. He looked so guilty. That guy is just puberty. I don't know why everyone's having a hard time. Like diving is easy.
Don't you think these days, like everyone wants to be just a couple, like free diving and being an instructor? Yeah, we've been that for like 10 years now. Yeah, we were definitely one of the original free diving couples on the South Coast. The job here on this doco is to document everyone, film everyone, but it doesn't matter where I point the camera, Dylan and Lara are just coming in and making out in front of me. I point it towards the boy, I point it out to sea, I point it at the boat, I point it, like, they've just got this ability to always be in my frame, just making out. Oh, they at it again. These guys. Oh, I got it's got proof. <laughs> Don't you think um, Lynn and Ewan are a really nice couple? Um, Ewan's with Bella. Really? Yeah, I don't think um, you and Bella make a good free diving couple. And everybody is wondering, will they be able to finish the course? It's not hard, but it's like exhausting. Oh, so I'm that's so exhausting. Yeah. Uh, look, it's not how I, it's not how I thought it was going to go. To be honest, um, oh look, I'm just I'm heartbroken for them. Yeah, I'm I'm not heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for them. There's a difference. Was it wrong to expect more from them? Before anyone else wakes up, Lynn is spending a lot of time with the candidates' freediving gear. I swear the other day I come out, I didn't want to say anything because I was a bit embarrassed, but my undies were missing. I'm missing all of my underwear, and I know who's taken it. Someone's taken my wetsuit off the line. It's not there. I didn't move it. There's a thief here. Everyone is thinking that I'm stealing things, but the only things I want to steal is, is you, Bella's boyfriend. I think I'm just gonna, gonna keep my stuff in my room. No one. To mix things up, Adam keeps the boat in the harbour and instead takes the candidates to the pool for their pool requirements. <laughs> Tucked away from the bad weather, the candidates are feeling much more relaxed. Look like a green sea turtle. So everyone's just doing their static breath hold requirement and they're doing really, really well. Right. It's interesting to see the different mental techniques that everyone uses themselves to, uh, to complete the requirement. Also really interesting to see the different coaching styles that they provide to each other. Um, really solid group though, they're not having any issues with this one. Sometimes people can get caught up on the static breath hold requirement. It's like static breath hold can be a bit of a mental game, but uh, no, they're all doing really, really well. just so good. I really felt that today was easy. The guys are getting ready to do their, their no fins performance requirement, so this should be really good. They're all pretty strong in no fins, so not too worried. I'm actually not too worried at all. The world record holder for no fins is Polish, and today I made him proud. No fins can be a brutal discipline, but Adam's technique drills seem to be paying off. Straight after, the candidates went through their pool skills teaching exam. Super glad that's done. Feeling super positive. I think there's only a couple more stages to get through. Um, yeah, should be, should be sick. What a relief. They have done it. It's like now that we have momentum, they're just doing requirement, 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 passing the exams here, here, here. Once you get a bit of momentum, it all just falls into place. I mean, look, I'm a pretty good instructor trainer. To have the day out of the water, the candidates would be doing their classroom teaching exam. All right, guys, are we ready to do our presentations? I'm pumped for today. I think it. Oh. <laughs> would you mind changing? And what's your first? Tweedledum and Tweedledee. It was priceless. I mean, they were both wearing the same shirt. Who wore it best? 
I've got the same shirt. I reckon I work best. I feel like Adam likes to cop me a little bit. I was there first. One by one, the classroom teaching exams were complete, but a spanner was thrown into the works with Bella's presentation. This is an ear right here, okay? Um, ear, human ear. Uh, and this is the, um, this is the ear canal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, guys, please, please, please. Um, and then we've got here. And, um... Can draw a D. That was perfect. Who you liked it? That was a massive ear canal she drew. I see why Lynn wants you on. With only one more day of diving, Adam tries to inspire the candidates. I know we've got bad weather. I know it's been a hard course, right? I know we've had a few tough days, but... Today is the last day and we have to turn this all around. We have to turn this all around today. All right? Yes. Let's do it. Aye, aye. Yes, they will. Aye, aye, Captain. It was the inspiration that they needed because every single candidate passed every single requirement during that session. There was only one small hiccup on the last dive. Yeah, look, uh, I mean, I think the course is going really well. I think like all the instructor candidates are really, really strong. We're coming towards the end of the course now and everyone's just they're still in their performance requirements. I think, look, sometimes you get lucky, you get a really Adam. strong Adam. group of divers. Bella! Bella! Breathe, breathe, Bella. Adam! 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 I was calling and calling and calling. Adam, we need you in the water. We have a diver blacked out. It wasn't until I said, remembered that he wanted to be called the bloody Sea Lord, that he actually got in the water. I am in a blackout, potentially about to lose my life, and he still thinks that being called Sea Lord is the most important thing. Sea Lord is my name. If you call me Patrick, I'm not going to answer to it. But a little blackout couldn't ruin the mood. Everybody had completed the course and there were now six new freediving instructors out in the world. We thank you for joining us this season on The Deeper You Go, The Better It Gets. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too. Ha ha ha!